Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. When a Donut Goes to Therapy Written by Erin Winters Illustrated by Katyn Booker When a donut goes to therapy, at first he feels all nervous. He does not know what it is like to have this kind of service. Inside, he feels all quivery, a shake within his belly. He does not know what to expect. His stomach turns to jelly. When a donut goes to therapy, he meets a therapist. When mind and gut feel twisted up, they help you to untwist. The donut walks back to a room he thought would feel so stuffy. Surprise! He finds a play box with some toys and bunny fluffy. The sandbox sitting on the shelf is filled with figurines. And Donut is allowed to play with puppets. By all means! They draw and play and talk on days that Donut feels he wants to. He cries. He laughs. And sometimes has what people call a breakthrough. When a donut goes to therapy, he starts to understand that it's okay to feel dismay and take a helping hand. At first, he thought his feelings were too big and he was worried. But change that lasts is made of work and rarely is it hurried. When a donut goes to therapy, he feels some big emotions. He learns to breathe in like a wave and out back to the oceans. Then one day, the donut trusts the therapist enough to bravely face what's in the dark, the deep and scary stuff. He talks about the monster that is hiding in his room, the hurt and pain that happened there, the great impending doom. He says that he is feeling rather empty in the middle. He really wants to feel fulfilled if even just a little. The donut draws a secret with a paper and a pen. It helps the donut to feel safer every now and then. When a donut goes to therapy, he has a helping team. A superhero sidekick friends, like sprinkles on whipped cream. The hero and his super team will fight to save the day from nightmares and from dangers till the scary goes away. The donut also learns to draw his big and little mad. He learns that when he squeezes fluff, he feels a little glad. He is wise because he knows that feeling feelings isn't bad. He is strong because he knows just what to do when he feels sad. When a donut ends his therapy, he's proud of what he's done. It's a warm and joyful feeling that's like sitting in the sun. He gives high fives to his old teammate, confident once more that he can handle hard life things, no matter what's in store. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one. Bye!